Kit's Treehouse is a short story published as its own book. The pages are about half the size of the pages in the normal Kit books. The story is 31 pages long, including some illustrations. It's short and simple. Kit, Ruthie, and Sterling draw various plans for tree houses. Kit has to babysit three kids named the Pews for a week, while Mrs. Pew helps Mother reupholster the couches. The babysitting job is pretty bad. The kids misbehave a lot. The only thing that settles them down is telling a make-believe story where they are ogres. When the week is up, Dad and Sterling surprise Kit with a tree house. She doesn't like it. It looks bad, and it's in the wrong spot. Sterling admits he knew Kit wouldn't like it, but he didn't want to stop because he was having a lot of fun working with her dad. Sterling puts their original treehouse design plans on the wall. Kit uses the old material from the reupholstered furniture as a tablecloth, and she admits the treehouse is okay, even if it's not what she wanted. That's the story. I suppose the moral is you should accept what you have without giving up on your dreams. It's an okay moral. It could have been more clear. I had to guess at what the book was trying to say. The other Kit books, especially book number four, did a better job with the theme of making do with what you have. After the story is a nine-page historical segment, followed by a craft idea, you can hang jewelry from a tree branch as a decoration. This book wasn't outright bad, but I did not think much of it. The babysitting segment was the most interesting part to me, but I think it was just an excuse to get Kit out of the house for a week, so she wouldn't notice the treehouse construction. This is the first American Girl Kit thing that I would not recommend. If you can't get your hands on it, fine. Don't worry. You are not missing anything. I give Kit's treehouse a thumbs down.